Hi guys, it's Matthias, and with the seemingly never-ending popularity of Battlefield 1 and the influx of new players, especially now with EA anti-cheat that hopefully will serve its purpose, even though we've already started seeing cheaters coming back. So now, if you are new to Battlefield 1, and yes, you are not alone, there's a lot of new people coming in, one of the things that you probably want to do is you want to level up. You want to get those points, you want to get those new weapons, and uh, combine it, of course, with the experience you get. Now, in order to rank up faster, one of the things you want to do is you want to stick with your squad, resupply them, heal them, uh, help them out, deal damage to the same enemies, and so on. And you want to do all that while being on a capture point. You want to be on one of these flags, because that yes. is going to give you some bonuses. Also, if you're on PC, the default key for the gas mask is B. Not that it's going to help you if you yeah, pick up some yes. of the elite oh, kits. Sorry, now, one of the things that has been a bit frustrating with Battlefield is one of the bugs that is related to vaulting that you see me doing here. See, I'm vaulting here. Many times you get stuck in this animation. It's not working, like here. Now, the reason why this happens normally is because you are too close to the object that you're trying to vault over. So you need to step back a little bit and try it again and do the vaulting before your character is actually on that obstacle, whatever it is, wall, rock, something like that. Now, this might seem like a trivial thing, it might seem like it doesn't really matter that much, but the fact is there is an additional bug associated with the bug that I just showed you, and that is that not only do you not actually vault over the object you're trying to vault over, despite the fact that that animation actually takes place, no, you stay on the same side of the object, and you also go down in prone. And I can't even remember how many times I've been killed only because of that bug itself. Now, check out this situation and tell me in the comment section what you think is happening. What? He just disappeared through the wall or something? Or what happened? Yeah, I don't know what happened. Maybe you do. Now, next thing that's good to know is how to lead and how to calculate for bullet travel time and bullet drop. Pay attention to where your bullets are going more so than where your reticle is. See where the tracers end up in relationship to the target, assuming you can follow your tracers while shooting. And by tracers, I mean your bullets flying through the air. So now, next tip is use mines and tripwires because they will stay on the map for as long as they do not get uh, destroyed by an enemy shooting them, or actually a friendly shooting them, or for as long as you don't place too many. In the case of the anti-tank mines, you can have six out at any given time, and that means that if you place a seventh mine, the first one will automatically just despawn. So there's no point placing more unless you want to have it in a better location, or unless you suspect or know that one of your mines have already detonated. And keep in mind, it doesn't matter how many times you die after placing the mines, they'll still stay on the map unless you know what I just explained and as I've said I don't even know how many times before but you can even switch class and get those sweet multi kills while being let's say medic or support even with your previously placed 80 mines that comes with the assault class oh well what do you know so now finding your way in battlefield or should I say finding your playstyle finding your favorite weapons and classes those things actually can take a long time. I have discovered things after years of playing this game, and uh, I'm still learning, and hopefully so can you. There are plenty of very helpful and uh, friendly people in the battery community, especially if you join any of these communities that uh, they have their own servers. And that brings you to another thing that a lot of people are still struggling with, and that is finding full servers. What you need to do in the server filter when you're looking for servers is you have to tick out empty servers so that when you're what? looking for populated servers, you're not br browsing through all these empty servers, which are in droves. There are a lot of them. So yeah, when you're looking for interesting matches, don't waste your time looking through empty servers. So now I'm going to get to the most important tip for this video, and that is just have fun and enjoy the game. There are so many unpredictable and fun things happening in Battlefield 1, and if you do not understand the context of this conversation that you're about to hear, then I will put the link in the description to an infiltrator video that you have to see if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. 
Ha individuato un aereo nemico. Da fighter a bit. I hit him, I hit him uh, one shot. The plane's behind you. Oh! Oh, 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 that guy got so fucking wrecked. He got so wrecked, you know, you'd think his name is Exploiter. That's how wrecked he got. Oh, oh that, that must be Exploiter. No, it wasn't. Ah, I think it's you, that's why I'm killing these guys. It's already me, me, now this guy. I can imagine. I can imagine. <laughs> it's like... It's like that moment, like when when I see you, you m the melee, and there's like this moment before I see who who the name, right? Who it is, and then of course it's gotta be you. I will never forgive you. Thank you. 